Hello there. Okay, so right now I'm gonna try to do a short review about this DJI Pocket, DJI Osmo Pocket, which is uh, a very new device. And I have to say that uh, after trying out a couple of days, I felt that this device is crazy, really crazy, really really crazy. I think it has. Uh, DJI Osmo, the first version, is so huge and now they have packed it in a very small uh, device like this. Uh, this is uh, the cover for that particular device. Look at how small it is. Okay, I'm, I'm holding this Osmo Pocket right now, uh, doing a selfie, a selfie video. And uh, you can see the footage as well. And uh, I can turn it around. Ah, this is to recenter it. So I'm gonna click three times and then it will go back to the front. Look at this. Yeah. Look how amazing it is. Uh I I'm not gonna show you how I unbox this uh, this device. And I don't think you know it is interesting to see how things are being unboxed. It is so old fashioned. Um I'm just gonna take it out immediately and just record it and show you the footage. Uh, it is a very cool camera. It is 4K. Uh, I just recentered it again. I can actually tilt it down like this. I can tilt it up by touching on the screen. It's all touch screen. It is, it has uh you can do slow motion as well. So you can actually set it on 30, 30p or 60p which is uh, it's quite good on the slow motion effect. And then it is again 4K and uh, you can set it on 4K if you want. So basically I feel what DJI uh, Pocket Osmo has done is that I'm sure you know that a lot of uh, mobile phone cameras are very powerful now so they have made or packed this uh, mobile phone camera into this particular device with a stabilizer this is i feel is a very revolutionary uh, device which is going to change a lot of uh, uh, a lot of things in the video uh, industry i'm sure many people would would actually buy this uh, device and actually shoot weddings as well and it's also very good for uh, video bloggers for a lot more other bloggers it can also snap photos battery consumption very good I only need to charge once and I can use it the whole day uh, you only need to insert in the micro SD card I'm not using a SanDisk 64 GB micro SD card as you can see that I'm walking around and the stabilizer works really fine and I'm gonna do a 360 degrees selfie as you can see that the camera actually follows my face it has the face tracking system in this particular device so isn't it like damn cool right and the best part of all the price of this particular device is so cheap Real, I feel it's very cheap is a very good investment that you can do um, to, for, for your travels, for your leisure. Uh, you can send photos with it. The only setback about this particular device is that you can't zoom in. It's only one focal length. You can't zoom in or you can't zoom out. That's about it. But it is so small, it's so handy that you can put it in your pocket you know, a size of your palm like this. And I'm telling you, this is going to be really, really uh, a camera uh, stabilizer that many, many videographers will be using it. So I hope you enjoy this uh, short uh, video of a review that I'm doing now on the Osmo Pocket, which is being released in uh, late uh, 2018 which is in December 2018 and I think the delivery of food products will be coming out in January or February so 
I will say it, a go. You should get it. See you in the next review. Bye-bye.